Welcome to a production of the TLT Lab and the Stanford Makers Club, How to 3D Print. Once you master 3D printing, you can make anything from ball bearing sleeves to 3D printouts of x-ray films. This tutorial will just go over the basics of using the Z Corporation 3D printer and the accompanying software, Z Print. The first step is preparing the printing bed. Smooth out the powder with a paintbrush. Then close the lid. Next, we will use the printer controls to smooth the powder. On the button console, raise each side of the bed by a few button pushes. Then press the spread button twice. Here we see what is happening on the bed. The right bed raises, the left bed raises, and the sweeper comes across. You may need to repeat the process, but making smaller steps each time. Here is the final, smallest step sweep cycle. Next, go to the computer and open ZPrint. Go to File, then Import. Select your .3ds file. These can be made and exported from Google SketchUp. Ignore any rendering texture errors and click Next on the Unit's Import screen. Exit any remaining dialog boxes and now you see your image file. Move the image to the upper left corner of the print area using the windows of the left side of the screen. Now click on the 2D button on the top toolbar. Use the up and down arrows to the left of the 2D button to step through the object. We are verifying it is a solid mass for printing. Next, go to File, then 3D Printing. Click OK on the initial dialog box. If an error occurs regarding the age of the print heads, ignore it. Check the following list of items before continuing. The powder overflow bin. The binder bottle. The waste binder container. Then click OK. The printing begins. This video greatly speeds up the process. But you can see your object build layer by layer. After printing has finished, let the object cure for one hour before digging it out. Now, use a soft paintbrush to dig out your object from the powder bed. Here is the finished object. It will be part of an eco-friendly bathroom model. To make your object stronger, cover it with drops of super glue. After the glue dries, your object can be painted and used within your project. Have fun!